yeah, um, my thoughts of the season is just help out, help out as, as much as I can. And that's what I came into the season or came to this team thinking was, I'm going to come here, I'm going to help give, you know, Coach Mendenhall, um, my coach, Coach Tidwell, and the rest of the staff, you know, um, as much as I can and give them all I got. So. What do you expect from Middle Tennessee State's offense? Have you seen much of it yet on Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, just expect good football. You know, they're going to come out knowing that we came off um, from a tough, tough uh, loss in Boise. So they're going to come out fired up. We're going to come out fired up. We're recouping together. We're coming together as a team. So um, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be fun. You obviously played at Utah. You know what their talent is like. How yeah. would you compare this team, BYU's teams, overall just talent, athleticism, to what you, what Utah had? You know, I, we're all D1 players. We all have talent. We're all, we all love this sport. We've all been blessed to play this sport. Um, the U guys, um, they all have great talent. They are hard workers. And I can say the same for my team. They're hard workers. They have talent. They're here. And being a, a Cougar um, just establishes that, that you have, you have um, that dedication, that determination, and that, that will and that talent to be here. So, yeah. Is there any chagrin of that you watched what they're doing? They're 5-1 and one ranked. And as opposed to you guys are struggling right now. Is there, do you have any regrets at all? Oh, no regrets. I'm just happy. I'm happy for them. I'm happy for their, their team. I'm happy for all, all uh, my friends over there. Um, you know, they, they're working hard and they're doing good things. And uh, um, I, hope, um, I hope that they just keep it rolling and they keep, you know, representing the state of Utah. We're all, we're all teams here in Utah. We're all trying to represent Utah and represent everyone here. It's not just BYU. It's just not the University of Utah, but it's Salt Lake City, Provo, and all the, the cities around. We're just trying to, you know, go out there and not only play for the university, but play for all of us. So they're out there doing their thing and um, happy for them. And that's, you know, it's just a good thing. That's just positive things when, when a Utah team is, is coming up like that and has that kind of recognition. So. Has most of the feedback you've gotten from former teammates or fans been pretty positive? Or, or has, have oh, yeah. The support is great. Posi there's you know, everyone that comes up. Everyone's positive. Um, you know, I, do, I, do, I get those questions that come and might slide, but um, the majority of them are all positive. And, and I'm staying positive because this is, this is my decision, and it was something that I wanted to do, and um, I couldn't ask for anything else. So. What does the defense got to do to, to turn it around in your eyes to, to start stopping people? And just play the, play the game. Um, that's what I think. We just need to play football. And um, I, I know that all of us can do that. And once, once we all just um, come out and play the game that we love and we're blessed to play, and we come out and play the way we know how to play, and we're doing it. And um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to see how, the, how we can finish off the season. You said coming in that really the only goal was to just try and get better, help out any way you can. But yeah. what does it what does it mean to you though to know that you've put in the work to earn those starters minutes? It's you know I I go out there and I give it all I got, and if they pull my name or my number to hey you're going to be there first, it's not about oh you're going to start or this. It's just you need to go out there and all those things that you've worked for and shown in practice, um, do it now. It's not about like hey your time to shine it's not like you're the the guy who came here and said this and that and now you're here it's more of um you've you've done this you've done that you um the teammates have helped us in this we want you to go in and do that at the game and it's more of just going there and do my job type thing it's not more of a ooh, i got the the starting position and you know um, um the you know the lights on me and i'm shining now it's not like that at all What's the so. difference between Bronco calling the plays as he did this last game and Nick Howell, if anything? The they, they call the plays. The plays don't matter. Yeah, they can call anything. Um, it's us as players. We, we go out there and we try to just um, dominate. Um, um, play calling is, of course, a big part of the game. But whatever they call or whatever they who's calling it or what they call, it doesn't really matter. We just need to go out there and do it and to, um, to our best of you know, the abilities that we can. So. Just go out there and you know execute those plays. Um, I don't really um, believe in you know oh who's calling the plays and what plays whatever whoever is the mouthpiece and whatever play it is whatever scheme it is just go out there and do your job on that scheme and do your best give the best effort that you can. Has there been an increase in guys in the film room the last few weeks? 
Oh yes, um, you know, film is something that we take pride in over here. And I've, you know, watching film on offense, switching it to defense, it's way different. <laughs> it's way different, but um, it's, it's um, something that we're all trying to get better at. Um, you know, um, being fundamentally sound, you need to watch film. So we're all trying to get to that level to watch film. When the, when the team was going through some issues with injuries to the running backs, okay. did you ever consider moving back over to the other side? Run, I love running back. I love our running backs. Our running backs run hard. And every time I watch them run the ball, yes, I just like, ooh, that's so cool. They're running. And when they, if they come and, you know, lay someone out or truck someone or just get the, those yak yards, you know, they'll, or like those um, extra yards after contact, um, it just, you know, gives me the butterflies. But it's just um, something that I've committed to the defense. I just want to play linebacker, and that's what I'm going to give. And every time I, I see that, I get excited and I get happy for them. Um, it's in the back of my mind, it's like, ah, oh, I remember when I used to try to do that, but um, right now I'm trying to focus on, you know, being with Coach Tibble and the linebackers, you know, uh, so. But, but like they did with Ho Ching, they, they didn't come approach you about possibly doing that. that, was not something the coaches approached you Oh, about. no, 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 they, um, nothing like that at all, it's more of, it's more of, uh, you know, of something that just stays in my mind, you know? But you so, have a yeah, so what's it mean to you to have like such a national following and have such a packed fan section at every away game? Oh, it, that is the coolest thing ever, you know? Um, having having those, those fans all around, you know, the United States and even around the world that are members of the, of the church, it's, it's the coolest thing ever. And, and I know that um, um, everywhere we go, we're gonna have, we're gonna have them, you know? So, um, it's the best. It's the best feeling knowing that they're all there. So you know, shout out to all the fans and all the supporters. Um, thank you guys. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Harvey. All right, thank you.